the militia of the town, the sand, n <clears throat> sorry, the sand democracy of Agrippa, a place for the militia to train, uh, be garrisoned, and sort of like a guard tower, and I'm going to build it right over here, and we're going to begin immediately. So enjoy the time-lapsed music.
So the Agrippa barracks are complete. And we'll just take a quick look at the exterior first. There's a half stone. Uh, hmm. Sand, there's a half stone sandstone uh, fence here to keep mobs out. Skeletons, zombies, and the such. It's well lit as well on the exterior. Once again, it's primarily built of sand, of course, like the majority of the buildings in these towns will be. And there's a total of eight uh, militiamen that these, this barracks can uh, garrison. I don't have any uh, armor for them yet, but I will eventually have some armor in, the, in that chest. And here's the second tier uh, walkway from which the uh, surrounding area can be somewhat observed, but not particularly well. In the top floor here is the garrison tower where the surrounding terrain can be observed. In most buildings, uh, in Agrippa at least, will be one floor tall simply because uh, sand doesn't have particularly that great uh, structural support. Occasionally with buildings that are higher than one story tall, uh, such as this uh, garrison tower here, I will add uh, supporting, supporting member beams along here made of sandstone attached to the cobblestone so that there's you know some logic to the architecture and that's pretty much it for the Agrippa barracks take a quick glance at the stuff I've done off camera some of which uh, being I've cleared this area just in general gathering resources and preparing for when I build whatever I build over here I'm, I'm planning on uh, building uh, another residential block over there. And I also made these docks here. Boats could be put on either side of these right here. The indentations. And what was it? Oh yeah, these... Uh, this sort of rut that I'm in right here, this uh, pathway that's sort of dug down one block deep, that's going to be the road. I plan on uh, filling in the road next with uh, uh, sandstone half slabs and with uh, sandstone blocks on the sides, sort of like how I did with the, the previous towns I've built with cobblestone, but instead for these towns it will be sandstone. And I don't think I uh, went over it very much. In fact, I forgot to mention about these doors and why uh, they are empty. Two reasons. Well, actually, just one reason. That, uh, like I said, the Sandagonians or whatever I'll end up calling them, uh, conserve wood as much as possible. And it's to them, it's not necessary to build doorways as... This isn't particularly the case at the moment, but when the town is complete, there will be no dark spots anywhere in the town for mobs to spawn, so the concern about mobs walking into people's houses will be non-existent, as their towns will be very well patrolled as well. Of course, that's just in the, uh, not literally, as it's just me and I won't be making any iron golems or such. Anyways, thank you for watching, and there will be more videos.